Hey guys, Gabriel here. I'm here with Steve, Steve. again. And uh, today, I think it'd be really nice for us to talk about um, something really interesting for all language learners, which is overcoming fear of speaking. Because even if you're, whether you're at a basic or intermediate or even advanced level, sometimes you, you're you going to speak with someone and you're just a bit tongue-tied, you're a bit nervous. So, um, Steve, how do you how do you go about trying to overcome the, the fear and the anxiety of speaking with the, a native speaker in a language that you're learning? Well, you know, first of all, I know from experience that um, in, as long as I am able to communicate and uh, the person responds, you know, then that's success. Mm -hmm. I know that I'm going to make mistakes. I know that no matter how fluent I am, and I know that when I listen to people who, who are not English native speakers who speak to me, there's always the same mistakes. People make mistakes and it really doesn't matter. Once you accept the fact that it's about communication and it's not about performing, it's not about uh, True. not making mistakes. So it's, it's I mean, I personally, you know, I don't have any fear. I'm not intimidated in terms of speaking. Uh, and I think you're the same way. We're happy to show off, even if we're terrible. <laughs> even if we're it's terrible, true. we go, oh, look at me, I can say three words. <laughs> so that's not a problem. But I think the other problem is this whole idea of, of worrying about, is this correct? Right. And, and then before you say something, you want to pass it through these grammar rules that you're trying desperately to remember. And that's where you just have to wing it. And very often your instinct is going to be correct. Whereas if you think it through, it's it this rule, is it that rule, by that time, A, it's too late. Are you trying to remember verbal conjugations I or know, whatever, right? Or right. prepositions I mean, or what was in your book and exactly. Absolutely. No, that's true. So I just go for it. And I think I think so. If you're intimidated, I mean the, my only advice is to say, don't be so proud. Okay. Right. You want to sound intelligent because you're probably intelligent in your own language. So you want to be intelligent. You want to sound like an adult. True. <laughs> you don't want to sound like a dumb kid. You know, don't be so proud. Right. You know, just just go for it and try to communicate. That's the only thing I can say. Easier said than done. But. True. No, I, I fully agree. And I think that a lot of people are concerned with perfection mm -hmm. and they're just like, well, I want to sound perfect in the language. I don't want to make any mistakes. And then they 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 get, you know, a bit tripped up with mm -hmm. that with that thought. And I think you're fully right. And uh, there's actually a, a, a quote from uh, Salvador Dali. Mm -hmm. I, I love Salvador okay. Dali. And, uh, I went to uh, his museum in Figueres. And he said, um, it's something along the lines of, I can't remember the word by word, but he said something along the lines of, uh, don't worry about perfection, you'll never reach it. Right. <laughs> and I think, uh, you know, it's great to strive for, for excellence and always mm -hmm. to try to improve in the language. Uh, but in the end, it's it's just like you. We don't. We shouldn't worry about perfection and sounding perfect and not making mistakes because it's like you said, it's okay. And exactly. And there's several considerations. One, there is a saying too that says, "Perfection is the enemy of the good." In other words, your attempt to be perfect is going to make you worse. Okay, that's important to remember. Mm -hmm. Perfection is the enemy of the good, or of good. The other thing uh, to remember is that the advantage of speaking is speaking and, and of course listening and engaging with the language. So the more obstacles you put in the way of doing that, trying to think of grammar, worrying about being perfect, being afraid, all of these things are obstacles. If your goal is to improve in the language, you just have to speak. That's the major benefit. Speaking perfectly is no benefit. The other person is not impressed. I mean, you, you have to show what you can do in the language. And if you keep speaking and keep engaging with the language, you will improve. The brain will gradually do better. It's just that simple. So putting all these roadblocks in front of you, uh, it, it serves help. no purpose. <laughs> no, no purpose. No purpose.